I think there are fundamentally two types of talent in this world. I think there's shouting talents and I think they're whispering talents. What are shouting talents? Shouting talents are people who are very strong talents, but the world also knows that they're very strong talents. That means they have an incredible resume. They have gotten top grades. They worked in the right investment bank, at the right consulting firm, at the right whatever. But it's very clear to the world in two seconds that these are top talents. The other kind of talent is a whispering talent. The whispering talent is just as good in performance, just as good in performance. But in reality, the world cannot see that they're as good. Maybe they had a late start to their career. Maybe they matured a little bit later. Maybe something happened when they were in school that meant they didn't get the top grades. Maybe they weren't interested in school, which isn't what life is anyways all about. But they actually just performed decently well, but they had a lot of other free activities or a lot of energy to do other things in their lives. In other words, shouting and whispering talents are equally good, but they're not as visible to the world. One of the things that we look for is we always look for shouting talents. We always look for the obvious talent, but we are as excited, if not even more excited, to find the whispering talents in this world. And there's a couple of reasons for that, but the first and foremost thing is, for me to hire whispering talents gives me this creator feeling that I have spotted a talent that other people couldn't spot, and I get to be part of developing that talent, talent's possibilities in the world and in their careers and their lives to open it up for them to do many more things in their lives than they've been able to do in the past. The second thing that I love about whispering talents is quite honestly, they're usually not particularly arrogant. As uh, Valdemar Smith once said to me, the C group CEO of ISS, he said, if you're arrogant, it's unlikely you're gonna become a top CEO, while if you become a top CEO, it's likely you're gonna become arrogant. So in this case, I get the chance to hire somebody who's very, very humble. And the third thing is you get to hire somebody who's not only humble, but they're extremely honored about the opportunity you're gonna give them because, hey, nobody else was gonna give them an opportunity like this. I recently named for one of our companies a CEO internally in our business. I took somebody internally who didn't expect to get this CEO position, and I got, I've, I've gotten about 15 thank you messages since then from a very, very humble guy who's gonna fight day and night to prove that he's going to be successful and that he deserves this success. While other people may say, hey, well, I deserve it. I don't need to prove anything. That's the third big advantage of hiring that. Now, if you are a whispering talent, you may not have all the opportunities that you deserve today. And if you're curious about how you can go and show that you really are a talent to the world, if you, they can't see it already, then just let me know below here and I'll give you some advice in the comment section. Thank you very much for listening in.